Hey guys, welcome back, and uh, in this video I'm going to be showing you guys some of my favorite apps on my iPad 2 that I just got last week. Hey guys, thank you uh, for watching. Uh, I hope you guys like the intro. Uh, I thought I would do this one through my iPhone, because uh, I created a video a while ago through my iPhone, and I thought it looked pretty nice. So I thought I would try it again on my iPhone, but this time it should be in landscape, not portrait. So, uh, first of all, we're going to start with my two favorite news apps. Um, the first one is Pulse News, and the second one will be Flipboard. Uh, both of those apps are ridiculously amazing. Uh, I'm going to open up Pulse News. As you can see, oops, I'm sorry, I got my finger in there. Um, up at the top, there are five different tabs. I have three already set. One says home, one says tech, and one says news. Uh, you can see those right there. And then there's page four and five where you can add other pages, like so you can have more uh, tabs to view different news that you have. Um, I just have them spread out. On my home page, I have uh, PC Gamer, Failblog, and CNET. It's kind of a mix of all three, except for the news one, because I haven't found one that I like that much. Uh, in my tech one, I have Gizmodo, Lifehacker, Mac Rumors, Mac World, t and TechCrunch, and Digital Trends. All those are pretty nice. They give you some pretty good like uh, updates and stuff like that. Then I have news, and I have New York Times, Wall Street Journal, and Time. All three of those give you great news. Um, so my next one, which is Flipboard, is probably pretty much equal to the other one. It's about the same thing. Uh, it just, except this one, creates you a complete uh, magazine. So basically you can just flip through pages, and I have different uh, like categories here. And stuff like that. I have Facebook, Twitter, Inside Flipboard, News, Humor, Tech, Apps, Apps is in iPhone apps, TechCrunch, and Gadget and Wired. And you can go through, and as you can see at the top, it tells you what section you are part of right now. And if I flip through fast enough, if I'm lucky, I'll get past the tech one, but there's so much tech stuff that it's kind of ridiculous. One nice thing is if you go, if you open up this app uh, while you have internet, when you leave your internet area, you will still have the, uh, it, it'll have downloaded all your stories and you can watch them after or read them. Like if you're on an airplane or something, you download them at home or at, uh, at the airport. When you get on the airplane, you can read all these stories and you can tell there's so, so many of them. I'm still in the text section. So I'm just going to move on because I can't seem to find the next section by scrolling through it. I could have just tapped the top. Um, okay, so I'm going to move on. Uh, my next favorite app, I'm not going to go through all these just because this video becomes so long. But uh, So my next favorite app is Friendly. Uh, Friendly is basically um, Facebook, but it's it's got a little nicer interface. Uh, Weatherbug, probably the nicest weather app. Uh, it's a lot more localized than uh, the Weather Channel is. So I tend to use that a little bit more. My next set of apps that I have is Productivity. I, only, I have eight of them in here, but I'm only going to go through a few of them. Pages and Keynote, basically Word and PowerPoint, amazing. No complaints. Uh, it does so much. Uh, skip over Evernote. BlogPress is good if you do uh, like Tumblr or Blogger and stuff like that. Uh, iMovie is pretty good. Penultimate, you can draw. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it from that tab. Uh, my next one is games. I have Cut the Rope, COD Zombies, uh, Words HD, <laughs> Words Cheats, which I don't use, so I don't even know why I have that on there. I'm just going to get rid of it now. Uh, delete. Yeah, I don't even use that anymore. So I used to when I first got it. I have Table Tennis, Metal Storm, Lane Splitter, and Crazy Tanks. Uh, so those are all pretty good. Uh, my next app is iBooks. I don't really use iBooks. Um, I haven't bought any books yet, but uh, I probably will soon. My next favorite app is definitely going to be Splashtop. You can see it right there. Um, I'm sorry, it's not focusing, but Splashtop is freaking amazing. Um, you can see right here, it already found my PC. If I click on my PC, it'll ask me to type in my password. Uh, I'm going to do that real quick. I'm not going to let you guys see that. 
Okay. So I just typed in my password. And right now, as you can see, uh, I'm actually sitting right next to my computer. You can see it had to readjust the uh, settings on my computer. But um, right here, I can just press close. And there is my desktop. So if I do this, pan across, that looks fairly familiar, doesn't it? And you can pretty much do everything on here that you could do on your computer. So you can open up, like, Internet and all that. Oops, I just dragged that. See if I can get that back. There we go. Yeah, it's really easy interface. Single click for left click and then double click and hold for right click. Or I'm sorry, hold down for double click. Um, I would have to say this is one of my, definitely my favorite app. It's a lot better than Joomey. So if you use Joomey, uh, I would recommend switching to this. I think it's $5 in the App Store. GarageBand, it's great if you want to make your own, synthesize your own music. But to record your like guitar or voice or whatever, it's not that great. Netflix, I watch movies. Smart Budget allows me to keep track of all my checks and all that and stuff like that. Stumble Upon, just some humor type stuff. Google Earth, pretty awesome. You can like spin your spin the Earth around and all that. Backgrounds, I actually haven't used that yet. I've gotten all my backgrounds that I have so far just off of Google. Serious, so I can listen to music. 360 uh, for camera, like picture taking and uh, Pandora so yeah I well I guess that's my favorite apps um, yeah I guess that's pretty much it um, that is my de definitely my favorite apps I do have a lot more apps I just got my iPad so I just put my favorite apps on here so far um, I do have a lot more apps I have like I think 15 gigs worth of apps on my computer which is right there um, but, yeah, I'll go into those at another time, maybe when it's not one of my favorite apps. Uh, I'll go through a non-favorite app video, just cool app video. Um, I will be releasing a favorite games app video soon. I'll be releasing a GarageBand tutorial. And uh, I think what I'm going to finish out with is I'm going to go into GarageBand. I'm going to play you one of my songs. Uh, it's only like eight seconds long. But it, it took me a little while to make, and it's going to be in a lot of my future videos. So I'm going to sit this down, I'm going to let you guys listen to it.